I know you've probably suspected this, but over the last month, I've fallen completely in love with you. Now, obviously, this, this was going to happen because, because you're a goddess with, with that face and that hair. But even if you didn't have the nice face, and even if you had absolutely no hair because of some bizarre medical reason, <laughs> um, I'd still adore you. And I, I just wondered whether by any chance you might share my feelings. With you, I'm in real danger. It seems like a perfect situation, apart from that foul temper of yours. But my relatively inexperienced heart, would I fear not recover uh, if I was once again cast aside, as I would absolutely expect to be? Uh, there are just too many pictures of you, too many films. <laughs> you know, you'd go and I'd be... Uh, well, buggered, basically. That really is real now, isn't it? I live in Notting Hill. You live in Beverly Hills. Everyone in the world knows who you are. My mother has trouble remembering my name. Fine. Fine. Good decision. Good decision. The fame thing isn't really real, you know. And don't forget, I'm also just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. You must know. Surely you must know it was all for you. You are too generous to travel with me. I believe you spoke with my aunt last night and it has taught me to hope, as I'd scarcely allowed myself before. If your feelings are still what they were last April, tell me so at once. My affections and wishes have not changed, but one word from you will silence me forever. If. However, your feelings have changed. I would have to tell you. You have bewitched me, body and soul, and I love and love and love you. I never wish to be parted from you from this day on. Look, um, I'm sorry if I've been... What? I don't think you're an idiot at all. I mean, there are elements of the ridiculous about you. Your mother's pretty interesting. And, and you really are an appallingly bad public speaker. And um, you tend to let whatever's in your head come out of your mouth without much consideration of the consequences. I realized that when I met you at the turkey curry buffet that I was unforgivably rude and wearing a reindeer jumper that my mother had given me the day before. But the thing is, um, what I'm trying to say very inarticulately is that, um, in fact, perhaps despite appearances, I like you very much. <laughs> Uh, apart from the smoking, and the drinking, and the vulgar mother, and the verbal diarrhea. No, I like you very much. Just as you are. I have another scenario for you. Good. I'm in love with you. I apologize for the blunt delivery. But as problematical as this fact may be, I am in love with you. And I'm not feeling this because you're leaving and not because it feels good to feel this way, which by the way, it does or did 
before you went off like that. I can't figure out the mathematics of this. I just know I love you. Can't believe how many times I'm saying it. And I never thought I'd feel this way again, so that's pretty phenomenal. And I realize I come with a package deal, three for the price of one, and my package, perhaps, in the light of day, isn't all that wonderful, but I finally know what I want, and that in itself is a miracle. And what I want is you. I have a wife, yes. And I cannot marry the daughter of Sir Robert de Lesseps. You need no wife come from Stratford to tell you that. And yet you let me come to your bed. Calf love. I loved the writer and gave up the prize for a sonnet. I was the more deceived. Yes, you were deceived. For I did not know how much I loved you. I love you. Beyond poetry. Oh, my God. You ran from me before. Oh, when I thought you did, I did not care about all the plays that would never come. Only that I would never see your face. I saw our end. It will come. You cannot marry Wessex. If not you, why not Wessex? If not Wessex, the Queen will know the cause and there will be no more Will Shakespeare. No. <gasps> I will go to Essex as a widow from these vows. As solemn as they are, unsanctified. I offer you my hand, my heart. Jane, I ask you to pass through life at my side. You are my equal and my likeness. Will you marry me? Are you mocking me? Do you doubt me? Entirely. Your bride is Miss Ingram. Miss Ingram. She is the machine without feelings. It's you, you rare unearthly thing. Poor and obscure as you are, please accept me as your husband. I must have you for my own. You wish me to be your wife? I swear it. You love me? I do. And so I will marry you. Bonita Aurelia. Veo ver aqui para te pedir para casar comigo. Eu sei que que ser louco porque mal te conheço. Mas às vezes as coisas são muito claras para mim. Por... Não, não preciso de prova. Eu vivo aqui, ou, ou tu vive na Inglaterra comigo. Ai, mas é para a Inglaterra, rapariga. Pode ser que conheças o príncipe William, casas-te, mas é com ele. Shhh. É claro que eu saber que, que tu não, não és tão louca co, com, como eu. É claro que eu pensar que tu dizes não. Mas é Natal, é... é só queria saber. Oh, pelo amor de Deus! Diz que sim, minha parvalhona! Thank you. That will be nice. Yes, this being my answer. <laughs> Easy question. O que é que tu disseste? Sim, claro. Bravo!